Hello there from Emerald Park in Ireland. Today we are here for the preview of Tin and O. I think I've said that right. Have I, think, I said that I, right? I think so, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not the best person to ask about pronunciation around <laughs> these parts, but uh, yeah, I think that sounds about right to I me. I thought you were good at pronouncing Absolutely right names. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> don't even speak English, let alone anything else. So, obviously, if you don't know, that's Sean. I'm Scott. And uh, we are here for the preview of the new rides, two new Vacoma roller coasters, a themed area to the eternal of youth. Is that right? It's, yeah, something uh, the eternal fountain of youth. Eternal, eternal fountain of youth. youth. Something youth related to do with the Celtic like afterlife. Yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to checking out the roller coasters, of course. Usually at this park you are allowed to take the GoPro on the rides, so we should be able to take you on the rides with us. Not sure if we'll be able to do rider cams, but if so, we'll get a few of those. Got the wrist mount, got the chest harness, all prepared for this day. Have you been here before? I've never been here before. I'm excited. I know the only reason I'm excited, right, is because when watching the documentary Nerves of Steel, which yeah. is on RTE one, and as I was like, saw the entrance, I was like, it's on the telly there. The park is really nice. It's like there's some really, really nice areas, and obviously it is a park that's still developing. It took a while to get planning permission for these coasters in this new area, so I'm really happy for them that they've got it. Really happy to be here again for what is, I think, my fourth visit. The whole park isn't open today, it's a very exclusive preview event, I'll show you how exclusive. There's like no one here yet because uh, we got a very early plane. It's literally just us, <laughs> that's just... fine by me. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, but yeah, the staff are still turning up, so it is like, what, 8 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the event starts at half nine, so uh, it's all good though. We had breakfast at half three in the morning in Manchester Airport, so we're well fed and uh, looking forward to this. So if you do enjoy this video as you're watching through, please hit the like button, there's a little thumb up, thumbs up below. Please subscribe, please check out Sean's channel, Lift Hills and Frills. Oh, cheers, mate. Should we go in? Yeah, I'll give you that fiver after when you turn the camera. Cheers, mate. Right, hand it over. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank all of you for coming today on what is one of, if not the biggest day in Emerald Park's history. Today sees the opening of Tiernan Oak, our biggest expansion and largest expenditure to date. I'm going to tell them to turn it down. <laughs> Thank you. So, it is the single largest expenditure in tourism in the country, not just this year, but in the last five or six years, which is something that we take a huge amount of pride in being able to say. We have three new rides, and we have spent 22 million euro creating a fully themed and immersive land. Today is the culmination of seven years, seven years of planning and hard work from so many people. There were many times in which I didn't think we would get this across the line. However, it's a testament to the people who worked on this and their incredible hard work that we are all standing here. Particularly the past four or five weeks, the amount of work that has been done by all the team here and all the subcontractors is quite incredible and is something that they can be incredibly proud of. There are many times that we could have stopped and chosen not to invest 22 million euro into Emerald Park and done something smaller. However, that would have been completely contrary to the nature of my father Raymond who put us on this path originally. This was the final project that he embarked on. It was the final deal and he did that he did. And while he was not able to contribute to every part of it before he passed, his stamp is unquestionably on it. And we certainly didn't want to let the big man down. I'm proud to say that what we have created here is the culmination of the vision that he had. What he wanted to do was build a new land which would not just be a huge step forward for Emerald Park, but would be best of class in Europe and we would be up there with any other theme park. I'm proud to be able to say that with any doubt or hesitancy whatsoever, the people who have worked so hard on this project have achieved just that. I know my father is looking down incredibly jealous of not being able to be part of the fun today, but I know he is looking down with pride at what has been achieved by everybody. Today is about enjoying what, we, what has been created and all the fun and the magic that is uh, going on in Tiernan and Oak. So with that, I'm going to ask my mother to come up and cut the ribbon with me and we'll uh, take a huge amount of pride in being able to announce Tiernan and Oak open for business. Woo!
Our first ride of the day was Narfiena Force, the Vekoma suspended frill coaster as part of Turn and O. Amongst the excitement of the morning, I forgot to mention this is where we were going first. So coming up is a rider cam, a couple of on-ride videos and some off-ride footage of this new Vekoma suspended frill coaster. <laughs> something in my eye <laughs> so I'm going to ask for Sean's help on this does the coaster name roll off your tongue because I have just tried four times to say it and made a mess of it every time. This is twice you've asked me about pronunciation in one video. I'm gonna go with Na Fianna Force. Thank you. Fianna or Fianna. Fianna. Yeah, so, so we've just been on that, which is a next. We've just been on that. Try and pronounce it, Scott, for the lovely viewers. With your experience guide faithful, who want you to pronounce this right? Right, I'm gonna do it slowly. Na Niana. Force. Now Fianna Force. No, now Fianna Force. Yeah, well, I want to see photos, Support Man right? United. The players' surnames are more complicated than this one. What? Maguire? <laughs> <laughs> it's like <your> nanny. <laughs> Hell, mate. How, how long has it since you've watched football? Anyway, I thought it was really good. 
it was really good. It was really smooth. And uh, yes, and I said nanny, didn't I? Garnacho. I mean, that's about it. I'm not a Man United supporter. But about that. Just as well. I'm lucky this one hasn't got a leaking roof either. So they're already doing a better job here. It's smooth, it's thrilling, it's intense. And I thought the trains were incredibly comfortable. But the inversions really surprised me. There's like some real whip on them. So you get the airtime and you get the whip as well. And they've got a nice little pass through for one of the ride stations, the Quest, I believe it's called. That's really cool as well. Yeah, the interaction between both coasters, obviously we're, we've not done the boomerang yet, we'll get to that, but the interaction between them is really good. And there's some just surprising elements, like obviously the inversion is not a surprise, you expect it, but you get more airtime on that than you would expect. Also, there's like a nice little dip at the end where you get quite a lot of airtime. And I think the freedom of the seating compared to like the old school Vacoma SLC coasters, it makes a massive difference. You've got a lot of freedom in the seat, you're not getting your head bashed around, it's very comfortable and very enjoyable. So yeah, I think I think it's a 1.2 meter height restriction. So if you are a family of thrill seekers, then you will enjoy that coaster 100%. What's the plan? The quest. The quest, right, okay, sounds good. Around to the quest which is the Vacoma boomerang coaster here we've been informed that the station is not quite finished but is going to be finished as the next few months go on so if you do see it in any of the videos or any photos from today and think oh that's not done that's because there is still work to be done you can see what they're doing with it but they just wanted to get this area open ahead of the summer season that makes a lot of sense because at the end of the day people want to go on the coasters more than anything else so it makes sense to get them open give people a chance to do them, but it is worth me noting that there is still work to be done in this area. Okay, here we go on the quest. <laughs> Good family coaster. Like I was saying before we went on, the theming's not quite finished and you can see that all around the ride, but they are working on it and it will be sorted soon. But yeah, as far as the coaster goes, very enjoyable. Good family coaster. we've taken a ride on all of the new rides in Tin and O, we are going to take some more rides on Fianna Force because we've heard from a few people that it has warmed up and is running really intense now. So we're going to take a back row ride and or try and get near the back and see how that goes.
behind you, Mel. Vampire. Dylan yeah. Just swings out a little bit. That's definitely more forceful than earlier. It's a back for a ride. Yeah, I agree. get the back row but we were second from back and it is definitely a lot more forceful than it was earlier on today it is a really really good family coaster i do honestly recommend it i know it's easy to say when we're here on a media event i've been invited but it is a good family coaster inversions whippy transitions airtime it is a good fun coaster really really enjoyed it we've had um, three laps on it now and i think we're gonna go and see if we can go and queue cullen which is not new it's a wooden roller coaster that's been here for i believe it's 10 years i think it was 2014 it opened gravity group wooden roller coaster very raucous lots of airtime and very good so if we can get on that it is running you can actually hear it if we can get on that now then we most definitely will be doing here we go hugh cullen And a wasp attacking the GoPro. Weirdly, it wasn't as bad no, as third from back. It's only that little gut. Yeah. Bit. That was the only bit. That is the last go. Yeah, that was the only bit that I was like, okay. Yeah. We have just taken three rides on a Q Cullen. And yeah, it was uh, something that got better with time. The, as we did the front row go, it was a bit like, oh, this is a little, a little bit rougher than I remember. But then we did third from back and it was, it was 
kind of similar to the front row. And then we did back row and it was actually the best of the lot, weirdly. Back row was really good, a lot of air time. Not quite as bumpy as the front row and just overall really enjoyable. It is a very good coaster. It is quite uncomfortable in, in the lap bar restraints that it's got, but overall it's a really, really good coaster, really enjoyable. And uh, I'm glad we've got on it. And I'm gonna bring wherever he's gone. Where's Sean? There he is. What do you think? I think I need to sit down. I mean, I didn't think it was that rough. It's just very intense. There are certain bits during the ride where you do get a little bit of a gut punch. Yes. It's like, whoa, if that stayed on the duration of the ride, you'd be in some serious trouble. But it's definitely not as rough as you were making out there, mate. No, before we went on, I was like, this is not going to be very good. It's, <laughs> it's not aged well, but it actually... The back was actually smoother than... Yeah, it the, was. The third from the back. I told How's you, bat roll for the full experience. <laughs> it's what we do on your experience guide, and that the full experience. is pretty special. It is good, yeah. it is good, it, it's well worth doing. Yeah, this is it now, family at 3 o'clock to be all this local. Well, that's been a good day here at Emerald Park, checking out the land of eternal youth. It's been a really good day. Really appreciate the invite, so once again, thank you to all of the team here at Emerald Park. I think the best thing for me to say at this point is come over and check it out because it is an excellent area for families, good selection of rides, it's a good park anyway that's worth visiting, very easy to reach from the UK. Quick flight from Manchester, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Stansted, Birmingham, East Midlands, Got you, Sean. Damn. You can try and hide all you like. <laughs> but yeah, it's really easy to get here. Usually about a 30, 40 minute flight. We have hired a car. The Polo. The Ferraris, <laughs> they're all out of stock. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, Sean wanted a green Lamborghini, oh, but yeah. didn't happen. A lime Irish green Lamborghini. <laughs> I wanted a Monaco yellow Bentley, <laughs> but it wasn't going to happen. So, um, yeah. You can get here on public transport from Dublin Airport. I'll be honest with you, I don't know a lot about that because I've always hired a car or come in a, as a group on a minibus. But yeah, it's really easy to get to. Quick flight, public transport or hire a car, hire a minibus. Really good place to come. Well worth checking out. And we've got to go and catch a flight. So many thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It's a little thumbs up below. Please subscribe, we've got a lot more content coming this week, including lots from Fort Park and Hyperia. So many thanks for watching, and I'll see you at Fort Park.